to Mimi's Kitchen. Well, y'all, strawberries are in season. And so the, one of the things that we think about right away is making things with strawberries because when they're fresh, they taste their best. Um, if you have my cookbook, Sunday Lunch at Mimi's, and you want to follow along, turn to page 108 and you'll see Strawberry Trifle. That's what we're going to be making today. And guess what? We don't have to set the oven. There's no cooking. Everything is like instant. So y'all be very easy for you to make. So even, even your cake, you buy your cake. So I use an angel food cake because it holds up the best. And so the very first thing that we do is we cut our cake in half. And then we are going to just crumble this up just in little chunks. You know, you don't, you don't want them too big, but just pull it apart. And that's gonna be our first layer. So we will be right back. That is our first layer now. And so this, what we're gonna put on top of that is vanilla instant pudding. And you just make it right by the recipe that's on the, um, on the box. And it is the large size and it calls for three cups of pudding. Three, uh, three cups of milk. <laughs> what was I saying? Okay. All right, y'all. I'm working from a different angle in my kitchen and y'all, I feel like I'm left-handed. <laughs> All right, let's see. Here we go, we go. Sprinkle this just right on top of our milk there. And then all you have to do is just, just do it by hand. You don't have to do this with your electric mix or anything. It only takes just a little bit. So while I stir this, y'all can take a break. Next step, we're gonna pour this vanilla instant pudding just right there over the angel food cake that we've chunked up. And you just use the, use the whole container, y'all. Use the whole thing that you've mixed up. All right, let's smooth that out. I have already sliced these strawberries, y'all, and I put a little bit of sugar on them because these strawberries were not real sweet. You know, we haven't had enough sunshine yet to make the strawberries as sweet as they need to be. So this is eight cups of sliced strawberries. Now we may or may not use all of them. That was a what we call a bucket of strawberries that I buy at the strawberry stand, which I'll show y'all later on. They weren't in business today. So we, oh, that's just one little. Stem. All right, a little stem there. Oh, y'all. This thing is so good and so easy. You're just gonna love it. It's just another one of those recipes that you can make. And y'all, it's good to make it the day before because it really kind of needs to sit and all these ingredients get acquainted with one another. And it is going to be yummy. All right, our next layer is eight ounces of cream cheese, one cup of powdered sugar. Let's go ahead and mix those together. That cream cheese was already softened, y'all. I had to add it out and to get it ready. All right. Then we're going to add one eight ounce container of Cool Whip. Okay. We'll be right back. Y'all now, this is the next layer. Now, don't leave this layer out. I know sometimes you think, oh, that can't make a difference, but I'm gonna tell you, this, this layer really adds to the flavor. Spread it all around there. Ooh-wee, okay, okay, this looks so good. Okay, y'all, 
Now this is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna repeat this first uh, layer that we put in there, which is the cake. We'll chunk that up and then we'll make another round of vanilla Insta pudding and another layer of strawberries. All right, this is our second thing of pudding, which is just like we put in that first layer. And it's the same, same size, that 5.1 ounce. And it's the instant pudding. Just sprinkle that down in there. All right, we're gonna whisk this up here, get it ready, make it nice and thick. Okay, here we go. Put that pudding on top of that. Mm -hmm. Ooh wee. Well, that's gonna be a bowl full. Now y'all, I will tell you one thing. You can make a smaller one of these. You would just use the small container of the vanilla instant pudding and maybe not use the whole cake. Just use half of it, freeze half of it, whatever. But you could make this as small or as big as you want. This one will serve probably 15 people. 15 hungry people. <laughs> <laughs> they don't see your serving size. That's right, yeah. Let's just cover this with our, our strawberries. Oh, y'all, it's pretty. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now let me tell you, that is going to be good. Just when we think we couldn't do any more to this, y'all, we're going to put whip topping on the top. And it's just going to kind of finish it off, give it that finished look. So we'll just spread this around. We'll just... Give this the finished look. Okay, I want to show y'all now how you serve this because I bet you're wondering how in the world. But the best thing to do is to get you a big spoon like this. And then you just go straight down through it, all the way to the bottom of the bowl, and then just pull it out. That way you get all of the layers on there. <laughs> I'm not going to do that right now because this really needs to chill uh, for at least several hours before you serve it. And it's really better if you do it overnight. And I want to tell y'all, the other night, we went out to eat just to this little sandwich shop here in town. It's locally owned. And it was um, three of us. We got in and we placed our order. And thank goodness we got there when we did because here comes this group of college students. It must have been 10 of them. I asked them if they came on a bus and they just laughed. They said, no, that they came, um, let's see, they said clown card it. So I don't know if that meant all of them in the same car or what, but anyway. So they placed their order and the young man that was in the front of the line, he was the first to come out. Well, y'all, he got out there and he fixed the tables all together with the seats all around it so they could all sit together and have a good time. And then when they finished eating, y'all, he cleaned that place up. And then he put the tables back exactly like they were with the chairs exactly like they were. And so I walked over to him, I said, yo man, if you'll give me your mama's name and address, I will write her a letter because I want her to know what a good job she did with you. <laughs> So y'all, all is not lost with this younger generation. I was just real impressed that, that, that he took the initiative to do all that. And I mean, he even got one of those spray things to clean the top of the tables. I mean, you'd have thought he worked there or something, but he just did a great job. But he got a, a good charge out of that. He didn't give me her name, but anyway. So somebody out there, you, you did a great job with your son <laughs> raising him and to do right. Everybody have a good rest of the week. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, shine for Jesus. And for our food, by his hands we shall be fed. Give us for our daily bread. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done.